Hi, my name is Trent Richardson. I'm a running back for the Cleveland Browns, and I represent Dogs by Nature. Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm Amy K. Nelson, and joining me right now is Trent Richardson, the new running back for the Cleveland Browns. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Hey, no problem. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm great, man. All Everything's right. good. No complaints. So you're here for this NFLPA Rookie Weekend. Just quickly, tell me what you think has been sort of the highlight of the weekend so far for you. Um, really just going out to the high school and, you know, interacting with the kids and talking to the kids, talking to the kids after the camp, after the little thing we had did and actually had guys up a big old huddle around me in circles. They were talking to one then a lot of them came over there and they just, you know, really just bought into what I was saying and, and you know, and it just made them believe that, hey, it ain't never too late. Hmm. What, when you said it bought into what you're saying, what were you trying to tell them? Just tell them never give up on their dreams and let nobody, you know, tell you you can't do something because, you know, at the end of the day, I was in the point where they didn't know I was going to be able to walk again, run again. I didn't play football to my junior high school and, and people, you know, were down with me saying that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to make it this far or I wasn't going to be able to go to college or I'm not going to make it, at, you know, where I came from at age 18. I mean, but I made it this far. I'm one of the most talk about football players it is. Well, it was in college, so I mean, hey. So I just tell them don't give up on your dreams and stay humble and stay prayed up. When you are out there on the field running, do you have those people in the back of your mind? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. You people do. tell me that I run angry. Yeah, I do run angry because I am, you know, angry when I'm out there on the field, but I do have my little girls in my head at the same time. You run angry? Yeah. I'm gonna guess that you're gonna keep doing that in the NFL? Most definitely, I'm not gonna change up nothing. If I ever changed up anything, that wouldn't be me. That's what got me here. You know, that's ain't God, you know, blessed me with a good talent to, you know, be able to break tackles or run through somebody or run past somebody. So if I don't do that, that's not me. All right, so transitioning from the college game to the pro game, what do you think will be the hardest thing? I really don't know for real. Uh, I guess just catch up to the game of the speed for real. Um, football, football, wherever we go. And the program I played for and with the competition that we had in the SEC, it was a dog fight every week. So I'm in this big conference now where it's going to be a dog fight every week, and I'm ready for it. Now, you're a warm weather guy, right? You grew up in warm weather, you played in the SEC. How do you think you're going to adjust when it gets to be the winter months and you're in the AFC North playing that cold weather? Um, I really just got to make sure my body prepared. And when it comes to, you know, being cold, I just got to make sure I have me a good thermal or a good coat. <laughs> Get those hot pockets? Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> and then, then you'll be good. You'll be good to go, right? Yeah, I'll be ready. All right, so ready. what do you know about the city of Cleveland? Um, yeah, uh, that they hungry and they waiting to win. And so, you know, the last thing they really had for real was LeBron James. And so they they waiting. And it's probably the closest thing to get to a, a college zone atmosphere when it comes to being, you know, fan base and stuff like that. Do you want to be the guy in Cleveland? I mean, do you want to be that athlete in, for that city? Oh, yeah, most definitely. And I'm, I'm ready to take it on. And I'm ready to, you know, put everybody on my back and, you know, carry the team if I have to. And I know it's not going to just be me. There's going to be a lot of us out there, you know, because I did come to the program as a, as a working process. And, and I'm a team player, so I never put myself before anybody. But I do want to be that guy, you know, of, of that time. Like a face? A no, face yeah, most for the definitely, city? Most definitely. Because you just mentioned LeBron James, that, you know, that, that he's gone, so that's why I asked you the question, because it seems like you're sort of thinking that way. Like, there's a little bit of a void in that city. He was, he was it for a, a long time. And then he left, went to South Beach, and I think there's a potential opening there. No, yeah, most definitely. That's cool. Um, what are you most looking forward to uh, when it comes time to playing in the NFL? Uh, playing against, you know, them guys like Ray Lewis, them big guys that, you know, that I played with, Terrence Cody and, and Courtney Upshaw, that, you know, they all on one team now. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of fun. And so when it comes to, you know, making that first contact, I can't wait to get, you know, the butterflies out and, and make sure that, you know, I can catch on to the game and speed and, hey, I'm ready to go. From now until the first game of the season, What's your life going to be like? Uh, training hard and, you know, just me being me uh, as far as, you know, training, trying to find my little girls at school to go get into, trying to find a house, uh, making sure my mama had the best doctors for her cancer and stuff. And really, it's going to be work. And, and if it wasn't working, it wouldn't be me. So I love to work. That's all I know. I always see my mom work two or three jobs. And so that's, that's all I was brought up around. 
real quick, because this got a lot of attention recently, you uh, took a young lady to her prom recently. You've had a little bit of time to step away from that experience and with the media attention that it got. When you think about what that was like, what are your thoughts? Uh, really just, you know, people say I did a good deed. I don't, you know, I don't know if I can call it a good deed. I did it because, you know, this girl here was fighting for her life and she didn't give up. And, you know, somebody asked me to go to the prom with her. Well, no, asked me would I take her to the prom. And just to drop out, like, no, I'll go to the prom with her. And Courtney, she's a strong girl. She's a fighter. And matter of fact, they they just really gave her two uh, full free scholarships because uh, I know they didn't have enough money because they paid all the money off on the medicine and stuff. And the dean, both of the deans of both of the medical schools she wanted to get into showed up to a, a award ceremony. And they told her that she, she can come to school for free. Wow. How does that make you feel? It made me feel so good inside because I don't think it was just me. Just, you know, knowing her story and getting people to look at her story, it just made everybody, you know, just realize that, hey, this girl is a fighter and she didn't give up. And, and she had to miss her whole 11th grade year of school, lost her hair, and she just kept us her uh, pride and her strength. So it makes me feel real good inside. You it guys is, keep I, in touch? Yeah, most definitely. Matter of fact, she got a graduation this weekend. I'm, hopefully, I can make it up there. Really? Well, next weekend, hopefully, I can make it up there. You want to go back? Yeah, 26. That's really cool. Well, a lot of people say that about you. You, know, you didn't give up your fighter as well, and uh, you're going to be going to Cleveland. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Then, you know, that's my story. So I didn't give up. I had two kids in high school. I had screws in both my ankles. People thought I wasn't going to be able to make it, but I fought back. I stayed prayed up and kept my faith. Trent Richardson, I think uh, Cleveland fans, Browns fans, are going to be pretty amped to have you play for them. So thanks for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right.